How we doing guys? I recently put out a beef stew video where I used one of these roasts to break it down rather than buying one of those pre-cut packages of beef at the store. Usually that stuff's no good. It's dead ends of whatever meat they had in the back. Uh, it's usually tough and chewy and you gotta cook it for hours and hours on end and get good pieces out of it. So I thought I'd show you how to break one of these down. First you want to go across the grain with it. Whichever direction the grain, cut against it. You can see you get these nice meaty pieces uh, and that's the first section of the pot roast, but inevitably, inevitably you get down to these fattier parts. Um, it's not too difficult, it just takes a little bit of time, but it's really worth it. Um, you, once you cut away at all this fat, uh, there's some real tender pieces of beef down there and they sear up nicely and they are just melt in your mouth once they're fully, fully cooked in that stew. So. It kind of gets layery. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, the, once you get down to this fatty part, uh, it's almost like layered beef in between these strips of fat. What you really want to do is, you know, keep slicing across the grain and look for any pieces that have a softer bit of fat. You'll be once you, you know, if you feel it, you'll be able to get your hands in there and find the hard parts or the hard pieces of fat. Um, you know, you're just gonna have to go through it with your knife, feel it with your hands. I mean, you'll be able to feel a tender piece of beef with your hands. And I'm just chopping these into half inch by half inch cubes, not being too concerned with the size of them, but just in general, half inch by half inch. And you can see, I'm trying to peel it away like that by hand. And some of these pieces of fat that are filmy, it's almost like it's surface, but those can get chewy too, and you wanna cut that stuff off. And whatever you can get. I mean, I'm not running a restaurant here, so I'm not con that concerned with the yield I'm getting out of every piece of beef. I want to make this quick, but I still want to get the best pieces of beef out of there. You can see I just threw that one away. I probably could have gone a little bit further on it, but I'm just looking for the best pieces of beef as quickly as I can get through this. And even right there, yeah, I got some hard pieces in the back, and that piece is perfect. That'll melt up and render. I mean, if you're cutting through it and it's just super tough, just toss it to the side. Don't use it. Like that one, don't use it. Just, you want a good percentage of meat to fat. Especially if it's the hard fat, you know, just get rid of it. I mean, it can be real time consuming, you know, just trying to get all that meat that you can. No wonder restaurants have such terrible labor costs. If you want to get, you know, bang for your buck, you do things like this. And just find those pieces. There's some little secret gems in there like that one. Just Sometimes you got a little bit of fat on top and bottom, just slice it off and you're all good to go. But you know, examine it. You know, really feel in there to make sure that you're getting everything that you can. And here we go. A lot of times you can, yeah, just go like that. Get everything you can off there, slice off the fat. And something like that, I, I would almost throw that away. It was just such a pain to get all of it off of there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. Yep, not worth it. And even something like that, just kind of look at it and you might have to fillet it like a fish. Yeah, and a lot of times you can just pry into there, slice it down. And if you lose a third of a, an ounce of meat, who cares really? And it's a shame because a lot of these nice pieces, these real tender pieces are all right next to the fat. You just gotta find it and peel it off like these. That's gonna cook up really nice. Like even here, yeah, cut that off. Not worth it. Even that might not be worth it. Maybe get a little off of there. And yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Here's the fun part. It's nice and tender, you know exactly where the fat's at. You almost you just pull it away. Cut every excess off. 
some really nice marbling in this. This is actually a good chuck steak for chuck roast where, uh, for uh, how much I paid for it. I think it was like $8, eight or $9. That's gonna cook up, cook up really nicely in the stew. Here's the easy part. I, I like to get rid of the hard part first. That's gonna be really nice too. You can just see how tender it is. See how easy this cuts too. Almost like slicing butter. See a little bit of fat on here, just try and get rid of it. And again, this isn't an exact science, it's just about trying to get as much meat off it as possible. That's going to give you your best stew. So, here we are at the home stretch. The last beautiful piece of meat. We're just going to slice it into half inch strips and then just cut them in half inch cubed. Again, this is. This stuff gets super easy towards the end. I mean, you got a little bit of fat to trim here, a little bit of fat to trim there, but this is gonna give you your best meat. And you got this filmy fat. Just cut that off, cut all the tendons and everything off, ligaments, I forget what they are. And look at how easy that's cutting, beautiful. And here's our finished product, ready for the pot.